What's your current take on seed oils? Any reason to avoid them in moderation? <laughs> I love how this just always continues to pop up. As long as you aren't deep frying them, then there is no reason to be concerned. The fear mongering online around seed oils is driven by emotions, not data. This was comprehensively summarized in my recent episode with Dr. Bill Harris, which I will link to in the show notes. In short, if you didn't catch that episode, the overwhelming body of evidence suggests that unsaturated fats, particularly polyunsaturated fats, which includes omega-6s, are health promoting. And this body of evidence includes studies where you measure omega-6 levels in the blood and fat stores of humans and you monitor them over time. You track their health over time. People with greater amounts of linoleic acid in their tissues, the primary omega-6 fat that is in our diet and in seed oils, are healthier and they live longer. That is not up for dispute. The data there is super clear. What people will point to is mechanisms. They'll say, but Simon, oxidation, but Simon, inflammation, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. These are simply that. They are mechanisms. And we have to have humility here. For whatever reason, and it doesn't really matter, these mechanisms do not pan out. Again, people who consume more of these fats are healthier. So either these mechanisms that people point to are wrong, incomplete, or there's a whole host of other mechanisms, other pathways with positive effects that results in a net positive effect when you consume these oils and you consume omega-6 fats. Nutrition science and chronic disease is complex and it's multifactorial. Pointing the finger at seed oils as the root cause of disease offers a simple explanation for people who feel uncomfortable with the complexity of the problem. Or at least that's the only way that I can explain the constant demonization of this food group, of these fats, despite the data. I am absolutely excited to share an exclusive offer with the Proof community. This is a limited time offer just for my audience and no doctor referral is needed. Function Health is a comprehensive at-home blood testing service that gives you access to over 100 biomarkers, covering everything from heart, liver, kidney, and metabolic health to hormone levels, inflammation, and nutrient status. That, my friends, is five times more testing than the average physical. I chose Function for my own blood work and to be a sponsor of this show because they are the best in the world when it comes to helping you understand and own your health. It's true, the depth and quality of their testing is unrivaled. And as regular listeners of this show will know, you cannot optimize what you don't measure. Don't guess, test. Use Function to know exactly where your health is today, and then intervene with evidence-based medicine and lifestyle changes to feel your best and reduce your risk of chronic disease. With Function, you get access to very important markers like LP little a, a genetically driven cardiovascular risk factor, ApoB, the most predictive marker of atherosclerosis, and LH and FSH, reproductive hormones typically missing from standard lab panels. It's not uncommon for these biomarkers and others to be elevated. For example, over 50% of Function members have an ApoB level, and over 20% have an LPA little level that is above the optimal range. You can even add on harder to access tests like cystatin C, a very sensitive marker of kidney function, as well as selenium and iodine nutrients that are essential for thyroid and overall health, yet rarely tested. So what are you waiting for? Run over to functionhealth.com forward slash Simon Hill today and be one of 1000 listeners to score a $100 credit. That's functionhealth.com forward slash Simon Hill. 